Hey, what's up everybody? Nick and Matt here at SWAT today to bring you another shoe review. Today we're out here in Oakland in front of some building that slightly resembles the high school from the Fast Times at Ridgemont High film uh, to take a look at the new Vans re-release of the shoes that Spicoli wore in the movie. All right, guys, so before we jump into the shoe right here, if you're on Instagram or Twitter, make sure you follow us at Swaptco. We recently did a giveaway on our Instagram, so we, there's more to come. Uh, the link for our Instagram and Twitter will be in the description, so go ahead and give us a follow. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, please remember to subscribe to our channel. Leave us a, a big thumbs up and, and leave a couple comments down below letting us know if, if you're a big fan of uh, Fast Times and Reach My High Film and if you like these shoes in general. All right guys, so as you can see from the thumbnail and the title, we have the Vans Checkerboard Slip-On Ridgemont High Fast Times. Is that what it's called? Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Fast Times at Ridgemont High yep. shoe. Yep, yeah. All right, well yeah, so basically this shoe was originally released uh, just prior, I think, to the film coming out in 1982. Um, and Spicoli in the movie, uh, played by Sean Penn, is seen wearing these, actually opening up a box in one scene uh, during the film. Oh, you should be coming on pretty soon, dude. How much do you smoke? This will be a little demonstration of that. <laughs> listen, listen up. That was my skull! I'm so wasted! So we were doing a little bit of research on the original pair of this shoe. Um, and they made this shoe in a limited run for their premiere of the movie in 1982. And I think they either did, I saw two different things. They either did a radio show giveaway of like a thousand pairs, uh -huh. or they brought them to the premiere at some theater in Hollywood and gave them away at the premiere to the people going to see the movie. Um, so but it didn't have this branding? It didn't have the branding on it. No, they were basically just the standard pair of checkerboard slip-on vans that you can get. Yeah, um, which makes but sense. But obviously from the factory in Anaheim, the original the original factory. So this is the first time that Vans has re-released this specific make of the slip-on checkerboard van. Like the build? Yeah, since the film came oh, okay. out. And, um, we were kind of trying to determine what about this shoe is actually different than the pairs that you just get basically at any time from Vans. So we got a pair to kind of compare this pair to. Yeah. There are a couple of things that, that kind of stand out. One is that the, the midsole has got a gloss finish to it. Yeah. And it also rides up higher on the upper of the sneaker, especially around the toe box. It definitely comes up over the toe more than the pair you can just get at Vans at all times. Right. Also, the the Vans tag is with blue type as opposed to with black type. Oh yeah. On the Fast Times version, clearly, obviously, there's the Fast Times branding on the outs or on the on the midsole as well. Uh, but besides that, it's basically the same shoe. Well, I in think, the box, right? Yeah, the box is also different for sure. Yeah, the box. This is the box that Spicoli gets his Vans in in the film. So it's a blue box uh, as opposed to the, the, the standard Vans red box. Yeah. Also, the the canvas, we, we're doing a little bit of research. The canvas on the original pairs is thicker than, yeah, yeah, than yeah. The, the pairs you can get from Vans, uh, Vans store. And the sole, right? Some. Yeah, some with the sock liner and, and the insole too. I guess it's more comfy. It's like an ultra cush insole. But it looks different than the, like the other Ultra Kush that you get at the store. Like you can see right here. Yeah. Whew. How do you feel about the shoe though? Like do you like the shoe? Yeah, I definitely I definitely think it's a cool shoe. Um, I think that Vans saw a huge boom in their sales because of the movie. So I think bringing a shoe back that pays homage to the film is kind of cool. Especially for people who know the film yeah. and know Spicoli, the character. I need to watch it. Yeah, definitely you need to watch the movie. 
But it's definitely a cool. I mean, I've never had a pair of slip-on checkerboard Vans. Do you like the OG but, Touch though? That's yeah, fun. no, I definitely do. Yeah, I definitely like the OG Touch, for sure. Okay. Because I mean, they're limited, and that's the only reason. I mean, that's the only thing that differentiates this pair from the the standard pair you can get at any time. Do you like the boldness of yeah. this right here, or would you rather yeah. be more subtle? Uh, no, I like the boldness of it. I think I like the boldness of it for sure. Um, and it definitely makes it unique. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't have probably bought them if the only things that were different on them was the the blue Vans tag and like the higher midsole. Like just yeah. I, I would. I, I mean, they would. Nobody would even know. It would have no. You know, it would have no connection really to the film other than the fact that they're like a limited edition Vans sneaker. Right. Um, yeah. So I definitely like that they they made a bold statement in 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 the fact that they put the branding all over the midsole of the shoe for sure yeah out yeah. of 10 yeah out of 10 man i think i mean it's a checkerboard <laughs> pair of slip-on pants so that's exactly what it is yeah so they're i mean they're they are what they are i mean they're cool uh i mean but they're not they're not by any means <laughs> anything that's going to be super sought after other than you know they're tied to the film so yeah. i'd probably give them like a seven and a half or eight out of ten just because Damn, i really? think they're cool yeah well just because it's cool because of the film okay you know but I mean, a checkerboard pair of Vans in general is like a four out of ten. Like they're Vans, like there's nothing. Well, there's wrong nothing with wrong them, with Vans. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with them, but they're not anything that you know you're gonna look at and be yeah. super psyched on. Especially some slip-ons. At least for me. Yeah. I can't do the whole slip-on thing, yeah. so I'm gonna give these because I've never seen the movie like a three yeah. out of ten, just because yeah. it's not my style. But yeah. I can see why it's dope for people that have seen the movie and like yeah. the movie. Yeah, it's subjective, obviously. But yeah. It's gonna be it's going to be predicated on whether or not you've seen the film because these are obviously kind of a main prop in the movie they're definitely on his feet a lot of the time when he's got shoes on <laughs> uh i mean yeah they're, they're they're definitely tied to the film and a lot of my score is, is built into that kind of backstory for sure <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We appreciate everyone that tunes in every time we drop a video. If you're on Instagram or Twitter, make sure you give us a follow so you can stay in touch with everything we have going on, mm -hmm. whether it be giveaways, polls, questions that we want to ask you guys and get your opinions on. Give us a follow. Thank you so much. And if you are watching this on YouTube, please remember to subscribe to our channel. We're trying to put out as many of these videos as we can, and we're doing a video on Vans right now. So definitely, if you want to stay tuned on, on what we have coming, uh, subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Smash that notification bell and smash that thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you'd like to see in the next video. Let us know what you think about these shoes and if you've seen the movie. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. I think I'm going to go rent the movie right now and watch it. Yeah, we're going to put it on right here. Well, yeah, we'll pop it in. Right pop here? It in the, we'll pop it in the blue It's a cemetery. Yeah, we'll pop it in the Blu-ray. Pop, okay. Yeah.